I'm in the same situation, but I had to close them, uh, enclose them in the Boba neighbor room. <laughs> <laughs> With some cartoons. <laughs> okay, so time is now. Hello, everybody. Welcome to all dear friends and professionals in dental field. Welcome to HBD Dental Webinar, A Clear Path to Dental Digital Dentistry. Metal Additive Manufacturing. I'm Vida from HBD Company, and today our dear host is Martin. Big welcome. Uh, thanks, uh, Vida. Hi, everyone. Welcome, and thanks for attending this webinar. I am uh, Martin. I'm sales manager at iMaker Europe. For those who don't know iMaker, we are a distributor of uh, 3D printers, scanners. We have offices in New York, Paris, London, and uh, Copenhagen. And we offer a very large range, large range of uh, products dedicated to dentistry, uh, which includes um, resin printers, scanners, consumable, and of course, SLM printers from uh, our dear partner, HBD. Uh, today, we'll show a clear path to digital dentistry and invite all friends to join us on a better path with metal additive manufacturing. To start with, let's get to know how we could utilize HBD metal 3D printers for dental application. Uh, first, let's welcome Vision from HBD Company to share the presentation. Hello, dear professionals in dentistry. Welcome to our webinar and thank you for your time. HBD is honored to be able to provide solutions for dental applications. Presentations will be in four parts including HBD brief introduction, dental applications and solutions. It is more than clouds and bridges. You can miss it out. Let's start our journey. I will highlight the most significant points about HBD. Like we are Leading SLM machine developer and manufacturer in China is a metal AM solution provider for global customers. Now is an expert with over 180 technical patents and have successfully developed more than 20 models of metal 3D printers for different fields, including aerospace, dental and orthopedics, energy, touring and automotive. I would like to draw your attention to this one. We have installed more than 500 printers in over 40 countries and regions. And we are looking for new, more, partners and, more partners in new countries. Here's the power certificates that we have obtained. HBD has close ties with the universities and academic institutes. With these institutes, we are proud of our R&D capability, not only in machine development, but also in applications. In terms of our dental applications, HPD has reached this point. Our first dental 3D printer was installed in 2018, and the first hybrid dental solution printer was installed in 2020. Since then, HBD Metal 3D printers have gained trust and reputation from our East Teams customers, as nearly 38% of installations are repeat orders. And one of our dearest customers is waiting for their 10th printer. Congratulations to them, and we are happy to bring value to all of our customers, and we will continue to do that. In the following topics, I would like to mention some of the challenges that dental labs are facing, especially after COVID-19. The challenge of recruiting dental technicians who can perform quality work on time is notoriously difficult, while at the same time reducing cost and increasing dentist and patient's satisfaction. This is where HPD comes into play. In addition to providing patients with comfort and satisfaction, HPD is confident about printing identical and high quality processes. 
We will see what dental works could be printed by HPD metal 3D printers in the following slides. The most common works are crowns and bridges. Beside crowns and bridges and frameworks, dental implants and apartments are also common printing works. More importantly, we have introduced the hybrid printing solution, which integrated metal 3D printing and milling into one system. This brings both the efficiency and accuracy to our customers in high value products, such as implants, apartments. Besides about mentioned products, we also help our customers in broadening their product lines. For example, band and space maintenance, subperior steel and titanium mass. Meanwhile, we're happy to develop more products for our customers. So if you have any inquiries, don't hesitate to contact us. We are happy to help. Here's a short video of printing various titanium parts. Let's check about it. In this video, we use the HPD 150D dual laser for printing. Let's see more details about the printers. The forming size is a diameter 159 with a circular plate. And, and we have different configurations of some, including laser, software, materials parameters, depending on the customer needs. With HPD 150D, we could finish in 200 to 230 cross units or 12 to 14 frameworks in three to four hours, depending on different parameters. We are happy to say that HPD 150D can provide you high efficiency, use friendly, high automaticity, and attractive ROI. Don't hesitate to contact us. We will help you locate the most suitable model for your needs. In the next slide, we will see the whole process of how to work with a metal 3D printer in dentistry. The first stage is data processing which includes designing in SOK or 3 shape. Then the data will be processed in materialized or voxel dense and HPD bill expert. Then we may import the data into the printer and start the printing. After that, we need to take out the drops and then put into the heating furnace. When heat treatment completed, we may remove the drops and start the post treatment process, such as contouring, to have a better picture of the whole process, let's see how our customer Brittle Dental Lab works with HPD 150D.
By now, you should have some basic understanding of HPD, but the technical support question remains unclear. We will offer complete training plan as well as lifetime technical support together with our local service team. With our efficient and quick assurance service, we will be able to win the trust of outstanding dental labs around the world. For example, during the epidemic times, we offer yearly maintenance to HPD clients in 2020. About raw material, we offer an open powder system to our customers. Below are some brands that work well with our metal 3D printers. Contact us and check out their printing results if you are interested. For different scale dental labs, we have different solutions with different forming size and metal 3D printers, which are HPD 100D, 150D, and 200D. Up to now, we have sold a clear path through digital dentistry, and we are waiting for anyone who has new ideas to make clear or wider. Thank you for listening. We will be back in the QA session after all presentations. See you later. Thank you very much, uh, Vision, for sharing this complete metal 3D printer solution on the lab's uh, digital, digital journey. Well, um, we have seen what dental labs could achieve with uh, SLM technology. Well, let's see what topic our guests bring up with. I'm sure you must uh, all be impatient to listen to their brilliant idea and thought. Um, by the way, the message board uh, is open during the webinar. If you have any question, uh, we'll collect the question on the, um, on the message board and share them with the speakers in the question and answer uh, session at the end. So, as we know, some prothesis have higher precision requirements and milling machine could help us on this issue. Uh, first, let's uh, welcome Mr. Roman Koshayan from Hyperdent. He will introduce how Hyperdent will collaborate milling machine and meta 3D printer into hybrid manufacturing and achieve this goal. Hi, Roman. Thanks a lot. Uh, hello, dear friends. Uh, thanks a lot for participating in our uh, webinar. First of all, I want to thank uh, the uh, AVD team for the opportunity to participate in the webinar and uh, present a product that is uh, becoming more and more popular uh, every year. This is a hybrid uh, production that uh, combines uh, several uh, technologies. Uh, as uh, metal printing using uh, uh, special powders and milling. In this way, I want to note that I am very glad uh, that today we are holding a webinar together with my colleagues uh, from global companies. And now I will share my screen and I will show you what is really a hybrid solution. Thanks and let's go. So. This is my presentation. Okay, fantastic. So as uh, Martin said, I'm from Follow Me uh, Technology Group. Uh, I'm a sales manager and a technical representative. So uh, well, Hyperdent is a product which uh, combines two vectors, is uh, uh, printing and uh, millings, or uh, we, can, uh, we can do together means a hyperdent converts to all-in-one uh, product, printing and milling in one project. So to help our customers uh, to maintain and, uh, and um, support this uh, complicated, complex uh, production and nicer production in the same, uh, same, uh, same time, we have 10 branch offices over the world. So we can support every uh, customer and uh, every friend uh, individually. So Hyperlint is a product which, uh, which can generate automatically the additional material to remove. Uh, because after printing, uh, we, uh, we have to take this platform and, and uh, install in the milling machine. How to mill and how to get a uh, better uh, surface. This is uh, absolutely on, uh, on uh, our hyperdent. And thanks to our engineers, we could develop a mechanism which uh, creates this additional uh, product, uh, additional material to remove. So hyperdent is all in one uh, product uh, which uh, uh, combines cut, cam, slicing, and the G-code. Post milling due to 
uh, due to additional uh, material uh, created automatically. And uh, to make all this uh, process uh, uh, automized, uh, uh, we used implant libraries, CAD libraries, and CAM libraries. So here uh, we can see uh, the workflow uh, nesting, creating pins, some of our support pins, some special tags to not lose your, your parts after printing. So one, two, three, there can be some, some letters. Then printing and uh, milling. Here we are. So all this uh, process in front of you, nesting, printing, and milling in, in, in three videos. Concre uh, concretely, let's go. In Hyperlint, uh, uh, you can see the uh, workflow. We import STL, we nest, we create supports, we slice, and we generate uh, NC code. Here uh, you can see uh, the uh, process. We uh, select a hybrid uh, solution. We select a uh, machines combination, means, means uh, the printer, and uh, um, and uh, milling the machine. So all these uh, two machines, uh, dual machines set up. In our, uh, in our case, I took like a, a, an example, HVD 100D and uh, and uh, the Datron, the Datron C5 or D5 uh, machines. That doesn't really matter. So uh, as we uh, as we will already know, uh, after printing the platform, uh, we should install in the machine. How to uh, position this? Uh, how to install this uh, this uh, platform absolutely flat, absolutely uh, accurate? So in this regard, we should have uh, these uh, probing pins. Means uh, the machine should uh, support uh, probing cycles. Uh, special uh, probing cycles means every cycle should be measured in three coordinate uh, systems x and uh, x y and z and, and the uh, the machine controller should find uh, the zero point means to uh, to a uh, position absolutely flat especially when we uh, uh, when we print and uh, mill uh, to retain it implant our connections. In this regard, we should have platform absolutely flat. So, of course, how to install the platform into the machine? We should develop special fixture. Uh, let's say uh, um, the, the fixture for every uh, million uh, machine should be individual. So in this case, uh, we can see uh, the Datron uh, C5 or uh, D5 uh, fixture where we install our platform. The platforms uh, can be round, in our case, uh, in case of uh, HBD or 100D or a square. So this is up to our friends from, uh, from uh, HBD. They can develop any kind of platforms, okay? So, uh, uh, of course, some of the hyperdent have been a very accurate, uh, accurate uh, uh, software and uh, needs needs uh, uh, needs uh, metal data means the construction file to detect accurately, um, accurately all the uh, components of every uh, kind of every dental part type. Okay, so in this regard, we support Exocut. Three shape and little wings. So here we can see how we nest. We select part type. Here we can see that uh, our hyperdent detected the correct, uh, the correct uh, uh, dental part type. We nest. Supports are created automatically. And in the in this field, I can tell you that uh, supports can be any type. Yeah, they can be conical, they can be cylindrical, they can be with bars to uh, to uh, ensure the the, you know, the better uh, stability. And of course, these these pins uh, for the touch propping are created automatically, absolutely automatically. Okay, 
So let's go. So very important to know that uh, for every process, uh, we should have a special nesting for uh, for uh, uh, well, the printing uh, that we nest, and we uh, have to have a special distances. And for the milling, we should have special offset. At all these nesting uh, parameters and requirements controls, I present automatically. Here uh, we can see that the support pins are conical, uh, can be conical, can be cylindrical, and they can be with bars. So means uh, conical with bars, cylindrical with bars, uh, for the uh, better stability, especially for the big part types, so uh, dental part types. Uh, we need additional bars yeah, for the stability. Here uh, we can see, so uh, for, for the uh, printing, uh, we need to create HBD slice file. And uh, for the uh, machine, milling uh, machine, uh, we, uh, we should have a specific uh, milling machine output. Very important to know that uh, that um, the hyperdent, um, uh, how our hyperdent uh, controls uh, the additional, and uh, how our hyperdent control uh, control and create the additional uh, material to go to uh, to post mill. Yeah, so uh, especially this additional uh, material or offset we call uh, creates in uh, in the cavities. In emergence profiles or gingival uh, areas, and on implant geometries. Here, we can see uh, there are differences uh, between uh, between uh, the geometries without offset, and here we can see with offset means this uh, material will be removed. Okay. In offset, in uh, there are offsets for our cavities without offset and with offset. The offset uh, depends on the uh, part type, and if this is around about 0 0.2 millimeter. And of course, uh, for the implants, yeah, for the implant of our connections. Here uh, we can see a gray arrow. It's a geometry after printing. And yellow is a final uh, your geometry for milling. Means this similar material, the, the, the gray arrow will be removed. So we have uh, we already created our geometries uh, for exopad, for three shape, and dental wings. So all these. All these we call hybrid process uh, for the uh, with the full automation. Uh, full of automation in all the uh, processes, in the process of the design, in the process of the nesting, in the processes of printing and milling. So here uh, we can see the uh, um, the uh, matching, uh, matching the the uh, information from from our metadata, and uh, the the exchange of the general geometries to middle. Which, uh, which kind of implant libraries uh, will support almost all of them? And thank you very much for your attention. This is hybrid solution. Uh, thanks, guys. Uh, and uh, please, if you have any kind of questions, please uh, prov provide us. We will appreciate your, uh, your, your questions and we will try to help you. Thank you very much, Roman, for this great presentation. Um, Thanks a lot. If there, are, if there are a few questions about Hyperdon Arbit system, um, Roman can answer them now. Otherwise, we'll get back to question and answer at the end of the webinar. Of course, of course. There was a question yesterday. Uh, you uh, you asked me regarding dental machine G5. Uh, can I ask for you now? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. It was a Mm, uh, someone having a machine, uh, uh, on a dental machine G5, um, they want to know if they can use uh, they can use it for hybrid production. Uh, I can tell you guys that uh, unfortunately, uh, the dental machine G5 or any kind of uh, dental uh, machine can't support Touch Pro. Okay. 
So, unfortunately, we can't do that. You know. Okay. So and uh, if uh, Roman, if someone has a, a HBD one hundred fifty D printer plus a milling machine, uh, what is, should should they have uh, to initiate the hybrid production? First of all, as I mentioned uh, above, uh, we should know if the machine supports the touch probe. Of course, the touch probe is uh, uh, high quality and uh, like uh, we call a high tech uh, invention. Not all the machines are uh, supporting this, this the touch probe, but touch probe, uh, touch probe provide us the better accuracy in uh, positioning. So of course we work uh, we work on uh, developing um, special systems, uh, special uh, high accuracy uh, fixtures uh, to support uh, the machines without a touch prop. But in current stage we can't do that. So let's say the work is in progress. Okay. Okay. Thanks. So uh, first Roman. of all, uh, yeah, just to renew, uh, resuming my answer. Uh, first of all, we should know if the machine uh, supports touch prop. This is it. Okay. okay. Then uh, all the all the rest of uh, questions are secondary. You know. All right. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Roman. Um, now it's time to welcome our the official dealer from Turkey, 3S Medical. They will share their experience from both commercial and technical. Uh, let's welcome Mrs. Mer and Mr. Lue. Okay. Hello, everyone. Hello, guys. Hi, everyone. Thank you for having us. Um, okay. Can you see us and hear us perfectly? Yes, it's all good. Thanks. Okay. Okay. Um, today, we're going to be talking about um, giving you um, some general information about our company and how do we work, when did we start with uh, HB, collaborating with HBD, and um, how we did improve our business together, and, and where do we stand. And finally, we'd like to talk about where do we see ourselves in the future. So our company, 3S Medical Company, is uh, providing products uh, of dental industry leader brands such as Cavo, HBD, Ivoclar, Schaffner and Renford uh, for uh, over 20 years, uh, for almost more than two decades. And um, our general customer base is mainly comprised of dental laboratories and dental clinics. And the company's product portfolio is uh, comprised of uh, equipments such as 3D printers and vacuum machines and dental furnaces and um, consumables such as metal powders and and zirconia blocks, stones, light curing materials, and also spare parts for the um, equipments that I have just mentioned. So we have a couple departments, and um, we do collaborate with uh, world leader brands that I have uh, talked about. And um, here you will see uh, our company departments, and uh, here you will get to uh, see the companies that we are collaborating with, uh, including, of course, HBD. Um, we have started our collaboration with uh, HBD uh, nearly three and a five year, three and a half uh, years ago, uh, in 2019. And um, in our first year, we had um, signed an exclusive dealership agreement that set a four machine target for our first year. We have installed ten machines in our first year, where uh, earlier HBD was a no-name brand in in Turkey in the first year that they entered continued, we started very actively mark, uh, market the product and um, to uh, have it meet with customers all around Turkey and in Eastern Europe. Um, in the end of 2019 and the beginning of um, 2020, the global health crisis, COVID-19 outbreak, impacted every country and sadly we were no exception. But we still managed to prove and maintain our success and continue to install eight more machines in the year. Um, in the year 2021, we have started um, with the world, alongside with the world, we started to slowly recover from 
uh, the pandemic, and we installed uh, an impressive amount of machines and 16 uh, machines uh, in that year, in, in just last year. Right now, we're in the first quarter of 2022, and we have installed and closed the sales deal for six machi machines so far. I have given you some numerical information because I think it uh, really documents our success story and um, so that we can talk a little bit more about why we're successful, why we have been, uh, why he, we have reached to the place that we are right now, and uh, what do we do wrong, uh, right, and um, how do we see ourselves? What can we improve about this technology and our collaboration um, together? Um, I think our success story is, um, it, it displays the trust we've built within our market. Uh, with our 20 more years of experience in the sector, uh, based on our prioritization of customers and quality. And um, we are taking pride of uh, our joint approach with HPD. And I think this is one of the main factors that uh, contributes to our um, uh, business with HPD. Uh, we have a uh, wholesome approach to sales. Uh, that's something, it is something that we share with HPD. And um, we really prioritize customer experience before and after sales, supporting them from A to Z 24 seven. And um, we ma value maintaining consistent quality while continuously improving, uh, improves their technology and uh, they improve and manage their competence in this um, rapidly changing world uh, that is rich with um, advanced technology, ensuring their place in its highly competitive sector. Uh, we expect to um, we expect to increase our volume and quality of our business together, especially since the digitalization of the market uh, and many other markets are quite rapid and quite frankly inevitable. Customers who are seeking to yield consistent, high quality outcomes while utilizing their sources efficiently and keeping waste of time and resources at a minimum that uh, who chooses to digitalize their work environment given the right opportunity. And that's exactly where we do come in. Um, our job with HBD together uh, allows them to increase their profits by maximizing the efficiency by rational usage of time, manpower and materials which in allows them to invest in bigger projects by reaching and uh, hopefully exceeding universal standards. That's all I can say about our company and our uh, collaboration story and where do we see ourselves in the future and why uh, we have been the choice of brand and choice of company in, uh, in Turkish market. And um, we've shared the numbers and our experiences so far. Now, uh, Louis will talk a little bit about uh, technical service uh, and um, the installation and our customers' experiences a little bit so that we can shine a light upon um, the scope of our business uh, even further. Yes, Louis. Yes. Hello, everyone. My name is Louis Constantine. I'm working at 3S Medical Company. I'm here uh, for uh, six years ago. Uh, and uh, we are a dealer of HPD uh, for maybe four years ago. Uh, we are so happy with working with HPD uh, because uh, when we install the first machine, we are thinking about it's too difficult uh, to install uh, the uh, laser machine. Uh, but while installation with uh, uh, HPD support, uh, we found it's too easy to uh, install this type of these machines and and uh, teach the customer how to use it because uh, it's not need it's not uh, complicated uh, uh, for the uh, completely the machine for the software for the uh, uh, maintenance and the spare parts. Uh, we are found mach by machine. Uh, one of machine and we, we install another machine and two and three it's more easier and uh, you can believe me we are teach some technician they don't know uh, to uh, move the mouse at the pc how to use uh, this machine yes uh, and uh, uh, with hpd support 
uh, we are solve all the problem uh, we are faced with uh, the machine or with the customer and uh, each customer want something from the machine like one customer want the quality it's more important for me from the printing time okay what you want we are do it and the other customer he don't care about the quality he care about the printing time the HPD can do that uh, we are uh, also also we don't apply the customer uh, if you need the printing time more fast but the quality it will be fixed in our quality uh, because we are uh, uh, we want to see the, uh, the uh, uh, printing time and the quality at the, the same time so we adjust so, the working yes. process uh, according to the customer's yes, yes. needs and staying flexible, increasing the quality and the um, maintaining uh, and also ensuring the end um, results. Yes, quality. yes. And uh, when one customer uh, used the HPD printer, uh, the other customers call us or call the uh, user. How about the HPD? How it's it's good machine? Uh, what is uh, the advantage or disadvantage? Uh, and uh, all uh, the reply, uh, it, uh, they have a good reply uh, to the uh, user. And uh, for this, we can sell more and more machines in Turkey. And like Merve said, uh, we have near, nearly 40 machines in Turkey. And uh, I think uh, at this year it will be 60. <laughs> I think so. Uh, we are go forward very good. And uh, with HPD support, uh, we will uh, successful. I think so. Uh, what you can? Uh, I think one of the most important things that uh, I think simplifies your part of the job, which is a technical service, yeah. is that HPD is continue support in uh, providing um, assistance 24/7, and uh, even in problematic cases, uh, you know, provision of service um, information updating the software and always improving uh, and adapting the machine now if you have any questions we'd be happy to answer you all right. Um, I, I think we lost the, the last part. Um, the connection was not very good. Uh, but uh, anyway, thank you very much. It was really inspiring um, presentation and success story. Um, if, thank you. Um, if thank anyone you. has any questions, feel free to write them on the um, uh, on the meeting chat. Uh, sure. I have my set of questions. Um, what are the, the, the factors I'm most concerned about in the process? Of choosing um, HBD equipment. Um, could you please repeat your question because I think uh, the connection is not ideal. Yeah, maybe We've it's on my, my side. Uh, okay, sorry about that. What are the factors that customers are more more con most concerned about in the process of using the equipment? Um, I think uh, we can both um, answer the question uh, together, and um, if you just allow me, just a little bit. Um, I think um, the, uh, what I can say in the first place is the yes, 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 you can. The, um, the change from the transition from analog from the manual labor to digital market digital uh, workflow is always problematic of course uh, for uh, for our customers that um, it, it worries them to change their whole system and that they are trusted trusted system but um i think we are very um successful at proving that the transition actually benefits them uh quite well uh with the uh, more examples that we have in the market the more easier the transition process is for them and i think their worries is the more the most problematic one i think the implication and the application of uh the uh workflow uh, digital workflow is um, not worrying at all for them 
Uh, and the same time, uh, I'm a dental technician. Uh, mm -hmm. When I uh, go to the customer to install the machine, we are teaching the customer from A to Z. From We are start yeah. from the design to the printing and after printing. And okay. after after printing for in porcelain. Yes, okay. we are uh, start uh, with the customer step by step. And if you have some problem with another step, not by printing, we can solve it from design and printing and after printing the centering and after centering if they have any problem we can solve it uh, because we are no uh, when we are install the machine we don't install just the machine we are install the system completely of course yeah the workflow i see mm -hmm. yeah even the maintenance okay. so, of, the, of the equipment is 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 a whole yes, new yes. chapter for and, them. Yes, uh, yes. For the machine, uh, the maintenance of the machine is uh, very easy to the customer to take care uh, from the machine for the machine and uh, keep it clean and uh, always uh, uh, have uh, stay at the same quality of uh, using the machine. Uh, it's important for us. We are teach it to the customer. Some customer don't do that. <laughs> like uh, the maintenance. We have some problem, uh, but we are, we can solve it. Okay. Okay, thanks guys. Um, uh, also, I'm aware about uh, a customer who has installed nine uh, sets of SPD metal printing machines. Uh, what are the factors that drive the customer to continue to choose HBD and 3S Medical? And probably uh, everything that you said before, but no. Yes, in, in, in summary, I think um, the most important thing is uh, to uh, ideally use the time, maximizing the efficiency of uh, time usage and also uh, minimizing the waste of raw materials, especially um, it, it, it's all about um, getting the ideal outcome with uh, the minimum amount of time, minimum amount of work uh, uh, workforce and um, maximum amount of quality. And um, HVD ensures consistent quality that is compatible throughout um, all work cycles. And uh, with the rep repeating, going after same steps, uh, it gives you uh, the same quality result and it really decreases the amount of time spent and increases uh, the um, efficiency of your investment. I think this is this is the main reason why People come, keep coming back to um, the um, this option, HPD and 3S Medical. And also, I think maybe the, one of the most important things is the after-sales service. Uh, and you know, customers know that uh, once they make this investment, they will never be alone and their problems are always going to be uh, resolved because promising no problems is very much um, unrealistic. But making sure that you will be there for them uh, and um, you know, for the training, for the maintenance, for the problem solving, is um, I think is the is the most valuable guarantee yeah. that one can have. Yes. Okay, that's very good. Uh, thank you very much, guys. Um, now it's to welcome our dear friends from HPD. Yes, um, Mr. Ma Ma Martin. Yes. Yeah. Many thanks to Ms. Uh, Mavi and Louis. Uh, yeah. We would like to show the thank short you. video about the clients in Turkey. Many, many thanks with uh, Mavi and Louis. Yeah, we will we'll share Thank the video you. now. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Um, sorry for that. Hello, everyone. My name is Greg Constantini. I am working in Greece Medical Company, uh, the leader of HPV company in Turkey. We have sold more than 40 machines in all of Turkey, and a lot of machines in Turkey work 24 hours without any problem and with our support. And all the customers prepare this machine from HPD because it's given quick, it's earned the time, and give him a high quality. We are happy with the partnership with HPD, and we are looking for a great future together. Thank you very much. I am now in uh, a static data laboratory in Tekirda, at the north of Turkey. Like you see, we have a lot of machines here, about eight machines. Uh, we are now installed the new machine uh, with, uh, uh, and support the customer to see if we have any problem with the other machine uh, with the great team of uh, HPD company and uh, we will see you at the next inspiration.
All right. Uh, thanks again, guys. Uh, that was really a great presentation. Uh, I think uh, the next uh, speaker seems to have uh, an issue with his computer. We'll just wait for a few minutes. Uh, he's just restarting his computer. Uh, to ask you guys to patient a little bit. Okay. Hi everyone, I'm Baru Bal from IPD Solutions. I'm a proud owner of the HPD Metal 3D printer. I've been a proud owner for it for about uh, three years. Um, I'm very happy with the services that HPD has been providing and especially the machine. The machine has worked flawlessly. Every time there's been maybe a slight issue, HPD has been very quick with the responses. It's very funny because uh, initially we were going to buy a European machine because everyone thought European machines were the best, but we realized after visiting uh, HPD, after visiting the factory and just the amount of support and uh, the amount of help that they gave us, we felt that HPD is definitely the company that we wanted to go with and we're very, very pleased and very, very happy and we consider them to be a part of our family and we we hope and we wish and we know that we'll be continuing this relationship for many, many, many years to come. Thank you. Uh, all right, so you just saw the video uh, presentation from uh, Madhav from I3D. I see that uh, Madhav uh, seems to have fixed his uh, technical issues. Hi, Madhav. Hi, everyone. Um, yeah, sorry, I was facing some technical difficulties, uh, but they're fixed now. You guys can hear me properly, right? Yeah, yeah, it's perfect. Uh, thank you. Awesome, Madhav. awesome. Okay, first of all, I would like to thank HPD for hosting this webinar. And I would also like to thank my colleagues uh, from the various companies for also participating. Um, I believe there were some questions uh, that were there uh, that needed to be asked. Uh, yeah, just to, uh, to specify quickly, Madam is using HBD 100D since uh, 2019. Um, yeah, um, during the pandemic, Madam. Uh, what was your biggest feeling of metal 3D printing and uh, how do you view the role of uh, metal 3D printing in the entire digital process? So um, basically we are a startup. We started our launch our company in 2019 and uh, when we bought our machine in 2019 and a couple of months later the pandemic hit. So it was definitely a, a, a tough uphill battle for us to climb. Um, even though the epidemic uh, affected the entire world, it affected us specifically because we are a dental lab ourselves. And as we found out later that the virus uh, tra uh, gets transmitted through the saliva. So this led us to be between a rock and a hard place. In terms of business, our business had definitely taken a hit because clinics were shut, uh, patients were more cautious. But uh, we had to take a decision, a firm decision, because for us, our customers, up the patient's importance, healthcare is the most important. So we had to, even if we, it took us uh, a bit of an economic hit, we had to basically uh, run whatever few traumatic cases that we used, that we got. Uh, we had we called our people in. We uh, did all the work. It actually, uh, when you when you think about it. Uh, when we when we look back at it in hindsight, it helped us uh, basically figure out how to solve the problem because in our country we had uh, first we had a three month complete lockdown, and then after once the lock lockdown eased up, we still had curfews at night. So we had to figure out how to optimize our manufacturing process. So basically, our our curfew would would start at eleven o'clock at night, and it would it would end at six o'clock in the morning. So basically, what we what we had to do was we had to ensure that all of the manual labor got done before eleven o'clock, so that everyone could uh, reach home safe and sound before the curfew started. And the beauty of having three D printing, having machines do all the work for you, is that we could just run the machines throughout the night, so we didn't face any major issue in terms of uh, bottlenecks. Um, I think the greatest thing that uh, 
the COVID-19 epidemic basically showed us is the human ingenuity and that metal 3D printing made it possible for us to survive personally as an organization. And to be honest, uh, you know, this this technology is so, I mean, we, we still haven't uh, scratched the surface of the potential of where this technology can actually can actually take us. All right. OK, so it gave more flexibility to your business. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, I, I had another question, my love, but time is running uh, very fast, so we need to leave a bit of room for the other speakers. Um, OK, so thank you very much, Madam, for this, um, this answer and already your presentation. Um, so um, now we all know that um, metal powder is the raw material in metal 3D printing and powder quality means a lot uh, in the final part quality. That's why we have invited our dear guests from Schefter to join us and share their thoughts. Welcome, Fabian. Hello, Martin. Thank you for having us in this uh, presentation and th also thank you, HPD, for this chance to talk about the one part of the digital process, the metal powder. First, I excuse my colleague Janik, who will not join us today because due to the still having the COVID-19 uh, pandemic, um, he has to take care of his children, unfortunately, but he will be with us in his thoughts. And because we expected that there will be some difficulties, we made a video presentation. So you will hear him and if you got any questions, for his part, you can also ask me. I can. I, I guess I can help you. And so now I'm trying to share my screen with you. So, and start the presentation. And I hope it will work. Yeah, it seems to be working. Hello, everybody. First of all, I want to thank HPT for this opportunity for participating at this webinar. In my opinion, it is very important to create such a great event together. Together, that means all components of a smooth running laser melting system. Starting with the printing machine, the software, the powder and the post treatment. That's why I named this presentation Non-Precious Metal Alloy, the ideal symbiosis. In this presentation for Schaffner, you will hear myself, Fabian Stirrer, in the business development, and even more important in this presentation, my colleague, Janik Zeuschner. He is one of our powder specialists at Schaffner, and he will explain the analysis and technical development of our powders and why we are kind of unique in the industry. After this presentation, both of us will be available online to answer all your questions. Let's start with an overview of our powder portfolio. And I guess this will be a surprise for you. Schaffner is quoting 13 different powder specifications to our customers. 10 different powders in chrome cobalt and three different powders in titanium based. Every powder is focused on a certain requirement. This can be machine type, settings, technical properties of the final work peaks, or a different industry. As I mentioned the different industries in the slide before, you can see that the key industries for our AM process is the dental, the medical, and the industrial field. At the moment, the basement of our success is the dental field, but first and important steps are made to conquer also the other industries. As we are focused on the dental, we support our partners and customers with a wide range of certifications which are needed to use our powder for dental application. The basement of all worldwide listings is our ISO 13485 and the MD sub certification. Based on these certifications, Chefnex succeeded in certifying or registering our products, especially powders, in all important dental market, and our powders can be used almost worldwide. But now, the sales presentation has finished, and I will hand over the microphone to my colleague Janik, 
who will present a deeper insight to our powders. Thank you, Fabian, for your great introduction. Now, it's a pleasure for me to guide you through the analytical and technical background of powder development at Schaffner in collaboration with HPD. Successful production of additively manufactured parts requires the perfect balance of well-defined powder, which we produce at Schaffner, of intuitively usable software like Hyperden and of reliable machines and well-adjusted machine settings, which today's host HPD provides. These three cornerstones need to be perfectly balanced to produce the mechanical properties that you need for your delicate work. After all, failure of one corner might mean premature failure of a part inside one of your patients. To achieve the perfect parameter set for the combination of Schaffner powders and HPD machines, we started the validation project with HPD in 2020. The aim of this project was the identification of the perfect parameter set for the production of parts that are compliant within EN ISO 22674. For the purpose of this validation project, Starbond COS Powder 30 and Starbond Easy Powder 30 were selected. As a result of this study, HPD can provide you now with an optimized parameter set for the use of Schaffner powder that can give you parts with less than 0.01% porosity, smooth surfaces, and most importantly, DIN EN ISO 22674 compliance. As customers of HPD, we can offer you to utilize our analytical expertise for the assessment of the compliance of your parts that have been printed with Schaffner powder. In collaboration, we can develop testing strategies to double check the output of your production line in terms of mechanical, morphological and chemical properties. The service serves your safety. Just get in touch for an offer. Let me briefly give you an idea about the high standards of quality control in our powder production. Each lot is analyzed by dedicated analyses of its chemical composition, its flowability, its size distribution and survey-based its particle shape distributions. For this particle shape analysis, we look at hundreds of thousands, sometimes millions of individual particles to make sure that our customers only receive the round, well-shaped particles that they expect. The well-known particle size distributions can be deduced from these measurements, as you can see here. However, a detailed measure of particle shape in terms of sphericity, aspect ratio, and many more shape parameters can be determined quantitatively. Subsequently, this quantitative information can be used to ensure quality and enhance production processes. Some might advertise the powders as round or spherical in general. Now, we can say how round or how spherical it actually is. The result of this tight regime of quality control are the Schaffner powders that you can buy. We make sure that our powders exhibit high sphericity and high flowability. By employing our powders with the optimized parameter sets that have been developed with HPD, you can produce parts with excellent mechanical and morphological properties. Wow. Thank you, Jenik, for this detailed information about the production and the handling of our powders inside of Schaffner. And if you guys have any questions about it, please do not hesitate to contact us directly. We try to optimize your process with our expertise. As I mentioned before, we will be also online for you after this webinar. Thank you very much. All right, thank you very much, Fabian, and uh, thanks to Yannick, uh, even though he couldn't attend uh, the webinar. Um, now it's time for question and answer. Um, so anyone who has any question, feel free to write your question on the meeting chat. And if there are no questions or if you are too shy to write your question right now, uh, you can still send your question um, to HBD. And for this, you can use the email address sales at hb3dp.com. All right, if, the, if there are no questions, it will be time for us uh, to say goodbye. Thank you very much a lot uh, for sorry, your time. I'm sorry, oh, sorry, yeah. Martin. Just 
just give me one 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 second. I just also want to draw the attention finally okay, that um, that all the AM process is just in symbiosis, as I said in the in the in the presentation. You will only receive good results if the machine manufacturer and the software fit together with the metal powder and the post treatment process. So this is why all the four factors has to work together hand in hand in hand and you cannot only just replace powder or replace software do in other settings build up another layer thickness all these uh, external influence to the final final workpiece and mostly people think they make it better but they make it worse all right i think this is the triangle of uh, the triangle of painting you need to uh, if you want to have nice prints, you need, as you say, to have um, compatibility between software, powder, uh, and to have uh, nice design. Thanks for this, uh, Fabian. Hello. Hello, Fabian. Yes, there are some questions here from my customer. They would like to ask you some uh, about the powder. Which powder do you recommend for crumbs and partial frameworks? Maybe you can share some your... Idea? Yes. So thank you for the question. In in general, for the with the HPD system, um, we have two or let's say three different powders for the for the fit for the HPD machines. First is the Stabon CUS, 30 microns, yeah. and also like the Turkish guys will tell you about the 55 microns will also be suitable for the for the for the HPD machines. The CUS powder has a very smooth CTE, so it can be used for every ceramic in the market without using a bonder. And so this is the ideal powder if you want to produce crown and bridges. If you want to, but if you want to do the, the partial framework, you have to switch over to the Starbond Easy powder, which is still a good alloy. And also the C CTE is still suitable, so you can only use it for crown and bridges, but the elongation is the very critical uh, value and the elongation is about 10 percent so your clasp of your of your removable uh, partial framework is still flexible enough to use it just for general use so the Starbonds uh, easy powder 30 microns is for a uh, partial framework okay thank you and and they the clients also want to know how many countries the Chevron powder show and, and which one is the most popular country <laughs> because they want to know if you have dealer all around the world. We are uh, basically working around the globe, yes. Um, I mean, in this presentation, Merve and also uh, Luan also uh, mentioned a country where 40 machines are installed. So this is our biggest market. Uh, congratulations for that. Um, but in general, we are um, we provide the whole world. So um, we run the certifications for the major, major, major markets like China, like the uh, Identaloy or FDA CE. Of course, we have in South Korea. We have a registration in Taiwan. You can be used in Australia and. Let's say we're going through dealers like uh, 3S Medical, or we're going directly to the to to the labs if they want to have a, that direct distribution by Schaffner. Okay, thank you. And and one the last question is: How many times can your powder be recycled for printing? Maybe you can explain. Thank you. This is uh, a good question. Officially, I would say, please only use it once. But uh, as you see, the Turkish are smiling. <laughs> yeah. You can run it, run it a we lot have of a, cycles. We have a lot of experience of <laughs> yeah. this issue. We receive this question all the time. Because uh, the customer is recycling <laughs> to finish <laughs> the powder. <laughs> Correct. Correct. It's, it's like um, we have done official tests for the registration in China. And we did it, I think, 20, 20 cycles. And it still has the exact same parameters as the first cycle. So we can just say that you can really use it until it's finished but maybe replace a little bit more new powder even before you're almost gone 
But as I said, the field is made in Turkey, so you can ask there. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Fabian. Thank Thanks. You, um, I just saw another question. I don't know which one of you can answer uh, this one on the chat from Andrea, uh, who is asking what could be the cause of diagonal deformation of metal framework after ceramic layering. Um, could you repeat the question, please? Yeah, uh, it's, it's it's on the chat. Uh, what could be the cause oh. for diagonal deformation of metal framework after ceramic layering? This is a sinterization, obviously, the wrong, uh, wrong uh, heating. The wrong uh, heating uh, in the oven uh, during the uh, sinterization of the uh, ceramic. Yeah? It's obvious. Yeah. OK. Too high. Too, uh, the the temperature is too high. So please find, uh, please find uh, the correct uh, temperature to sinterize your your frames. Even if the uh, metal part is uh, sinterized well, if you put uh, if you put a, a, a ceramic on, you should bake it here. Yeah? And uh, this uh, this uh, heating can can affect significantly. You know. Okay. Thanks. Robert. Please. Okay. Welcome. It seems that there are no more questions. Um, so, uh, as we said before, if anyone has any question, uh, feel free to contact uh, HBD Sales Manager or to send your question to uh, the sales mailbox, which is sales at hb3dp.com. And now it's time to thank, uh, say thank you very much uh, for everyone for your time to attend this webinar. Uh, we will have more webinars in the upcoming days. If you have an interesting topic in uh, Meta 3D printing, not limited to dental application, feel free to contact us. We'll be more than happy to share our experiences. Enjoy your day and see you next time. Hello. Thanks a lot. Yes. There is the one more question here we show <laughs> in, you can see in the message board. <laughs> Maybe we can yes, just continue this, answer this question. OK. I will say goodbye yeah. another time. Um, <laughs> So yeah, the question is, uh, what is the best possible heat treatment module and highest temperature to be applied at COCMOW powders? I will give this question to Luai. Yes, yes. Uh, at the first, it's too important uh, to check the furnace before, the calibration of the furnace. Is it normal or not? Because we have a lot of problem with the uh, centering furnace calibration. The calibration, it means the furnace give you the real temperature. Uh, some customers uh, centering the platforms at uh, 920 uh, temperature uh, degree, uh, and uh, it's much, uh, the holding time, it will be about uh, 15 uh, and 20 minutes. But uh, if the high temperature or the calibration of the furnace, it's good, uh, you can uh, use this uh, program about uh, 920 for 900 to 50 for uh, 15 minutes to 20 minutes. But I face a lot of problem with the, in Turkey with the furnace. Uh, so uh, I fixed the program in 980 for 15 minutes. Uh, and they have a cooling time. Uh, you must, uh, you don't must uh, take the platform uh, in high temperature outside of the furnace. You must uh, let it cooling and uh, you can take the platform in uh, 200 degree uh, to have uh, a good result. It's uh, in my experience in Turkey. Thanks, Rue, and thanks, uh, Gokan, for asking this question. Hello, Martin. Yeah, I just saw another client. Uh, the, the joint team name is NNFG, FGD. He hand, hand up his hand, so I think, I guess he has some question to ask. And then we will now allow her right. microphone. Yes. Because now we it's the meeting time, so we can continue all yeah, the sure. Hello.
Bye. OK. Maybe later we will contact with the clients and then uh, we can talk uh, personally. It's no problem here. Let me also add um, one more thing. There was a sorry that there, there was a question in the in the in the chat before mm -hmm. about the crack of the ceramics. Mm -hmm. um, this is uh, a very difficult question because normally if the ceramic has a crack, there is be a failure in the whole process. It's not only the powder or the machine, but mostly there is uh, some dirt under the ceramic or they used wrong temperatures that's that's the only i mean we are we're, we're selling more than 20 tons of this cos material and it's the perfect fit to the ceramic so if there is a crack or a bubble or anything else there is something in the in the working process yeah it could either be it could also be something as small as not being sandblasted properly the the coping not being sandblasted properly or even a little bit of moisture from your fingers could lead to a crack so each and every part has to be very specifically checked all right thanks guys Um, I'd also just like to uh, just just piggyback one point that I wanted to add from my colleagues in uh, Turkey about how easy it was uh, basically during the pandemic two years we weren't allowed to you know uh, there wasn't any travel allowed and we had two major part uh, issues which uh, which I want to really commend the team at HBD for you know they they sent the parts over we connected over zoom we were able to change one was the nitrogen filter and one was I'm forgetting the name of the other part but we we managed to open the entire machine by ourselves uh, fix all the parts change the parts fix them and uh, had our printer working in I think maybe two or three days so I would really like to thank uh, HBD for for their support of course. Yeah, of course, we we do agree with you completely. Thank you, all dear friends, for supporting HVD. And yeah, it's very really appreciate to uh, become your partners, uh, your uh, stable and uh, uh, friendly partner to the metal 3D printers. It's very really, really appreciate your yes your comments. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank, you guys. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. And I think now it's officially time to say goodbye because there are no more questions. Um, <laughs> thanks, everyone, for attending the webinar. And I wish uh, you, you a good day or good evening, uh, depending where you are in the world. Um, goodbye, everyone. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.